All right, what's up guys? So if anyone that's been watching my channel for a little bit, you'll see that I did a work around how to use your Stealth 700s on your PC through Bluetooth. That is your Xbox Stealth 700s. So since they don't have a dedicated dongle like the PlayStation 4 ones and other headsets that are wireless, these use the actual Xbox uh, controller wireless. So these are de just dedicated to just Xbox. So my other tutorial, we went through how to get them to work on Bluetooth with OBS open while you're streaming. So the issue I was having was once I opened OBS and started streaming, I would lose all audio to my headset. So we went through the workaround. You can watch that video in my channel. So today we're going to talk about how these performed. So since I disabled the hands-free, I lost the use of my microphone, which I never even attempted to try and use since I have a dedicated microphone system to talk to my friends and everything while in game. Uh, we have the Bluetooth, we have it on. I didn't try using the superhuman hearing. I didn't even use it on Xbox. The way they sounded was good enough for me. I could pinpoint where people were at, so I never really turned that on. One thing you do lose is your dials here for your game chat and your volume chat. So you do end up losing these dials while you're using it through Bluetooth on the PC. And it was a good luxury I like to have for when I use them on my Xbox because some people talk louder than others. Sometimes when you're playing games such as PUBG, you really need to hear your surroundings. So you kind of tone down your chat a little bit and pump up the volume of the game. Uh, so in this, you'd have to use Discord or something or if you're using Steam Chat in a chat room, you would have to go in and manually turn people down through that. There's always short keys to bring it up and overlays to do it pretty quickly with a keyboard and mouse. So it's not a huge feature to lose, but it's definitely something worth noting. As far as directionality, I did turn the Sonic uh, feature on through the Microsoft sound settings. So it gave it a good surround sound feel, uh, even though it's just one speaker on each side, it's never gonna be a true surround sound. But games I play will be, uh, you know, Rainbow Six Siege, Ring of Elysium, uh, Battlefield Five, Apex Legends. You can definitely hear where the people are at and where they're coming from, where the shots are being fired. You definitely pinpoint it pretty accurately with the headset through Bluetooth. As far as buying this headset, the Xbox version for PC, if you don't have an Xbox and you aren't using it on both, I would recommend getting the headset that's dedicated for your PC. Uh, there's no point in really buying the Xbox One unless you get a really good deal on them and it's really worth you sacrificing some settings that you may or may not even need just to have the, a, a good quality headset. Uh, but since I had these already, they were already in my basement, they were already sitting right next to my Xbox One X. I went ahead, found the workaround, was streaming with them. So if you guys watch me on Twitch, you'll see me wearing these. Uh, and they, they sound great. Battery life, just as advertised through Turtle Beach. You get eight to 10 hours, roughly, battery life through the Bluetooth. Uh, one good, great feature is you can, you can wear them while they're charging, so sometimes you'll see I'll have the cord plugged in. They do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the bottom if you wanted to just use that to save some battery life. At that point, you might as well just buy a wired headset. It'll probably be a little bit better anyway. Uh, I do actually have a wired Turtle Beach headset that I do use also for PC, and I can review that later. It's the X04s. But as far as the Cell 700s, if you have them, watch the workaround video. If you're a streamer, definitely watch the workaround video. See how I use them while I stream. One other thing worth noting is every once in a while, my sound will get a little glitchy, maybe even bog out. Uh, I simply just turn the headset on and off and it just keeps working properly. Uh, as far as distance with the Bluetooth, I've walked 30 feet away from my computer, still had audio about that area was when it might start cutting in and out, but I've walked to my kitchen, which is about 30 feet, 30 feet roughly, through a bunch of different walls. I mean, it, it definitely has some distance to it. Uh, and the microphone, like I stated, I didn't use. Ex my experience with people using Bluetooth that don't stream, that did use their microphone with their Turtle Beach Xbox headset, it, it didn't sound that great. They got really choppy. Uh, you know, definitely some issues with the comms there. And it could have been a Bluetooth issue. It could have been user error. I'm not really sure. 
I wasn't there to troubleshoot it, but I have not tried to use this microphone with Bluetooth on this headset through the PC. I'm sure it'll work. I uh, just not personally something I've done. So overall in conclusion, if you have them, they are great to use. You won't notice much of a difference between your PC and your Xbox between the Xbox wireless connection and the Bluetooth connection. If you don't have them, just get and you are a PC gamer or PlayStation 4 gamer or whatever, you just use just buy the dedicated headset to it. It's about the same price and it'll actually give you more functionality, more features. So I hope this helps people out. I hope this was a good tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.